The stations of the cross are depictions of Jesus' journey, from his arrest in the Garden of Gethsemane to his trial, crucifixion, burial and resurrection. They have formed part of Christian devotion at Passiontide for many centuries because they enable us to engage actively in the path of suffering walked by Jesus. They originated when early Christians visited Jerusalem and wanted to follow literally in the footsteps of Jesus, tracing the path from Pilate's house to Calvary. They would pause for prayer and devotion at various points. Eventually, those pilgrims brought the practice back to their home countries, and ever since, Christians from differing traditions have used this form of devotion. We will be using some of them at this service as we reflect on Good Friday. They went to the place called Gethsemane and he said to his disciples sit here while I pray he took with him Peter and James and John and they began to be distressed and agitated he said to them I am deeply grieved even to death remain here and keep awake and going a little farther he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want.
Lord Jesus, you entered the garden of fear and faced the agony of your impending death. Be with those who share that agony and face death unwillingly this day. You shared our fear and knew the weakness of our humanity. Give strength and hope to the dispirited and despairing. And when we can, help us to bring comfort to those who are troubled and anxious. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Pilate asked them, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Lord Jesus, you were condemned to death for political expediency. Be with those who are imprisoned for the convenience of the powerful. You are the victim of cruel injustice. Change the mind and motivations of oppressors and exploiters to your way of peace. Be with those who are striving for freedom and peace who put themselves at risk for the needs of others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
And they crucified him, dividing his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been justly condemned, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this, is, this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord Jesus, even in your deepest agony, you listen to the crucified thief. Hear us as we unburden to you our deepest fears. You spoke words of love in your hour of death. Help us to speak words of life and encouragement to those going through difficulties. We confess the times we have not listened or acted in the way of compassion when it was needed. Forgive our selfishness and help us to follow your example of concern and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Lord Jesus, as you died on the cross, it seemed all was lost. We bring to you the times we have felt lost and scared that there was no way ahead. We remember those in our family and amongst our friends who are in difficulties and need hope and encouragement at this time. 
May we help and support each other in sadness and in joy, in bringing laughter and enduring sorrow that helping one another we may fulfil your law of love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, 
What would we have done? Would we have fallen asleep and then run away terrified like the disciples in Gethsemane? Thank you that you forgive us for our weakness when we opt out and run away from conflict and cost. Lord, what would we have done? Would we have shouted Hosanna on one day and crucify on another? Forgive us when we fail you, because it's easier to follow the crowd. Lord, what would we have done? Would we have been harsh and judgmental like the Pharisees? Forgive us when we are quick to condemn or when we hide behind legalism. Lord, what would we have done? Would we have been like the soldiers, hard and callous, just doing their job? Forgive us when we act blindly and unthinkingly, without considering the effect our behaviour has on others. Lord, what would we have done? Would we have slunk away ashamed from the horror of Calvary? We thank you that you forgive us when we let you down and that your love is stronger than all the evil we could throw at you. Lord, accept these prayers offered in your name. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom as we pray now in the words you gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Hope When the last seed breaks away from the November tree, swaying a lonely waltz in the misty sunset and coming to rest among the mouldering remnants of the fall, I think of Jesus, gently borne down from his bear tree, a fragile reject of a winter world. And I know that his burial is the planting of a kingdom and that all is now ready for the coming of spring. <laughs>